Your height is 1 meter and 14 centimeters. How can Jack write his height as a number? At the end of this lesson, you should be able to state why a decimal point is required and it's important in the decimal system. Represent decimals on number line. Convert fractions as decimals. Convert decimals as fractions. Martin has a bat which is 90 centimeters and 4 millimeters long. Help Martin convert his bat length into centimeters. We know that 1 centimeter is equal to 10 millimeters. Or 1 millimeter is equal to 1 by 10 centimeters, which makes 4 mm as 4 by 10 centimeters. So, length of a bat in centimeters is 94 by 10 centimeters. How can this number be represented? We are familiar with whole numbers like 1258, 734, 596. Let us take an example. 1258 can be expressed in terms of 10. So, it has a 1000, two hundreds, five tens, and eight ones. Look at the pattern as we move right. Each position is ten times smaller than the earlier one. What will happen if we continue to move right? If we continue to divide further by ten, we get fractions, one by ten, one by hundred, etc. How do we separate the whole numbers from the fractions? We need to use a dot to know where the unit position is. This dot is called decimal point and the number with the decimal point is called a decimal number. Let us now try to represent the length of Martin's bat using decimal notation. Substituting the values in the place table and using the concept of decimal, we get length of the bat as 90.4 centimeters. Mr. Matthews has to write a check to pay his mobile phone bill. The amount to be paid is Rs 1,349 and 5 paise. How would Mr. Matthews write this amount in rupees? 1 rupee is equal to 100 paise, which means 1 paisa is equal to 1 by 100 rupee, which means 5 paise is 5 by 100 rupee. So, the money Mr. Matthews has to pay is 1349 plus 5 by 100. How can we write it using a decimal point? Let us place the numbers in the place value table. Since we do not have any number for one tenth, we put zero for tenths in the place value table. Reading the values from the place value table, we get the amount of Mr. Matthew's check in decimal notation as rupees 1349.05 paise. We have till now converted fractions with denominator 10 into decimals. Let us now try to convert other fractions into decimals. For converting to decimal notation, the denominator should be 10. Therefore, we need to convert the fraction 12 by 5 into an equivalent fraction with denominator as 10. If we multiply both the numerator and the denominator by 2, we get an equivalent fraction which has 10 as the denominator. 24 by 10 can also be written as 20 plus 4 by 10 or 20 by 10 plus 4 by 10. Putting it in place value table, we get the fraction in decimal notation as 2.4. How do we convert a decimal into a fraction? Let us convert 3.8 as a fraction. For this, we need to first represent it in the place value table. From the place value table, we find that 3.8 is equal to 3 times 1s and 8 times 10s. This can also be written as 30 by 10 plus 8 by 10, which is equal to 38 by 10. Is this the simplest form of the fraction? 
2 is the common factor for both the numerator and denominator. So dividing by 2, we get the fraction is in its simplest form, which is 19 by 5. Let us try representing decimals on a number line. To understand this, we start with the decimal 0 0.8. It is more than 0 and less than 1. So, we divide the number line between 0 and 1 into 10 equal parts. The 8th point between 0 and 1 is the place for 0 0.8 on the number line.